Hello and welcome back to Module 3 of the Intelligent Sales Machine System. Things are really beginning to heat up now as we move into part one of the select phase. In this phase, we're going to show you exactly how to choose the best product opportunities, analyze the market for an item, identify a suitable supplier, assess the item's profitability, negotiate further with the supplier, and so much more. In this module, be ready to take massive action. So then, let's get more specific about the objectives of the first part of the select phase. The first thing we're going to do is determine whether or not it's sensible to move forward with the item you found. We do this by looking at the overall market for that type of item and analyse it by implementing the market analysis process or MAP. We'll then develop an accurate picture of the competition for that item on Amazon and be able to assess whether or not we can create an offer that will compete and ultimately prevail in that market. Next we'll figure out how to stand out in that market by identifying the gap. By the end of this process, you'll know exactly what you have to do to create the opportunity of a truly world-class offer that stands out and will make significant revenue quickly. Finally, we'll narrow down your product league table and select your best product opportunities and move them forward into part two of the select phase. Let's dive in and look at how the market analysis process works. Okay. So to begin the market analysis process, you'll start by taking the generic keyword of your product or the short title as we call it. Type this into the Amazon search bar in the marketplace that you're researching in. Let's say that the generic keyword is pool rake or plastic shoe boxes. We'll simply type pool rake into the Amazon search bar or plastic shoe boxes, whatever it might be, and click the search icon. Once we click the search icon, we'll use these questions to determine how competitive the market is for the item that we're researching and whether or not we can compete in that market should we choose to create an offer. We're going to determine the size of the market. This is absolutely critical as the market has got to be big enough to create ongoing sales for us, but not too big so that we can't compete. Once we're happy that the market is indeed a market, we'll look at how many results come back from Amazon for that particular keyword. The kind of results is simply the number of listings on Amazon that mentions that specific keyword. It doesn't necessarily represent the number of listings that sell the identical product, but it's very important just to gauge you know, for us in this process. Once we're satisfied that there's not too many listings for our item, we'll look to determine how good the offerings are for that keyword on Amazon. Our goal is to find items that are poorly presented with subpar offers. It's as simple as that. And that will give you clarity on what you need to do to succeed in a particular market on Amazon. Once an item passes through the map, all that's left for you to do is to make an educated decision on whether or not to proceed based on your analysis. So as you move through each question in the map, there are a few key things that we don't want to see. The first thing that we definitely don't want to see is an excessive amount of results on Amazon for that particular keyword. In our case, that number must be less than 10,000. If it's more than 10,000, we'll avoid that type of product for now as the market is a little too big for us. Secondly, we don't want to see a first page of results filled with ultra low BSRs. This is another indication that the market is extremely vast and will be difficult for us to become established in. Thirdly, we don't want to get involved in a product that's what we call a confused marketplace. What we mean by this is that we don't want to see a vast array of products with multiple versions and designs. The reason for this is simple. Subjectivity leads to issues for us, as we may or may not choose the quote unquote right version or style of the product when we're sourcing and importing it. Always select products that are dull and boring. It's critically important. And finally, we don't want to see a significant number of high quality listings with outstanding images, titles, bullets and descriptions, as it will be difficult for us to differentiate ourselves where the listing quality is outstanding. Now don't worry if all of this seems confusing. I'll show you exactly how to do this as you look over my shoulder in just a few minutes. So now that we know what we don't want to see when we're running the market analysis process, let's flip that and identify what we do want to see. Firstly, we want to see less than 10,000 results come back from Amazon for your generic keyword when we run a search for the item. Next, when those results come back from Amazon, we want to see a first page with a mix of low and high BSRs that are within the BSR limit for the category that you're searching in. We want to see a clear and defined marketplace offering, meaning the product is simple and easy to understand, and there aren't a significant number of different versions of the item. Finally, we want to see poor listing quality overall. This will give us a huge opportunity to come in with a better offer that's presented significantly better than the competition. This is the key to high conversions.